So Fago, the rapper who been next up for the past two years and on a decline over the past few months. When he first started to blow up, the world thought he had so much potential. Everybody thought he was him, bro. They thought it was him. And he was dropping music for years before he even started to get real traction. After he dropped his project after me, it was like everybody was thinking about Fago. And it brought him more growth than he could imagine. And with all this growth, it brought people wanting more music. But the problem with Fago was after he started getting some attention, his music became scarce. He stopped dropping. And you know when someone start buzzing crazy, all the labels start looking at him. But this case was different. Around the time Sofago was blowing up, Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott's girlfriend, posted a video with a Sofago song playing in the background. And this one really started the Sofago sign of the Travis Scott rumors. And when that first became a thing on the internet, everybody was trying to figure out if Fago was going to sign the Travis Scott. Every time you go on YouTube, it's Fago signed to Travis Scott. You look at an article, you go on Instagram, you go on Twitter, everybody asking, is he going to sign the Travis Scott? And after these rumors started, everybody started to look at Fago different. And eventually, he tweeted a cat this on Twitter, which basically confirmed that he was signed to Travis Scott, and that changed the way everybody looked at him. With that Travis Scott co-sign, it put him in a good spot. Had him in Nike commercials, had him with all these big producers, Pharrell, Gunna, he had him with everybody you could think of in the music industry. But while he was taking all these pictures with all these hip-hop icons, he was neglecting his music, and it was like... He blew up and pushed his music to the back. Before we keep going on, though, I'm going to put this on the timeline for you. All throughout 2018, 2019, 2020, like I said, Sofago was consistently dropping, dropping 24-7. Always was feeding his supporters with new music until he got some real success. He slowed all the way down. And when he started buzzing, I'm going to be honest, he missed his biggest opportunity by not dropping during the time when he was the hottest. All throughout 2021, people was just begging him to drop an album, an EP, just anything. And... He did drop, but only dropped one single throughout the entire year of 2021. And like I said before, he was really one of the most talked about new artists. His fans was just fiending. They just wanted music until somebody else came into the picture and felt that need. Yeet. When Yeet blew up, him and Sofago was getting compared 24-7. And I know y'all remember, every time you got on Twitter, niggas was comparing Yeet to Sofago. The thing is, they was basically in the same position. But the difference was, one was actually dropping music, and the other one wasn't doing anything. So which one do you think really blew up? Yeet is another artist who had been dropping for years and blew up in 2021. But the difference with Yeet was, he blew up and kept dropping music. Yeet dropped two projects in 2021, whilst Fago dropped nothing. And then two months into 2022, Yeet dropped a number one album. And this whole Yeet situation was a big hit to his career. And you know in the rap game, what fans think, it's will run everything. So if the fans think you losing to somebody, everybody gonna look at you like you damn bad and lose respect for you. Like I just said, the first big hit of his career, his commercial rival is surpassing him. I say commercial because they wasn't beefing for real. The fans just put them against each other. But even past ye, I personally think the biggest thing that ruined Fago career was signing to Travis Scott. Now what I think Travis Scott was trying to do when he first signed Fago was Travis was gonna drop his album, then drop Fagos right after. So his buzz went to his artist. But the whole Astoril situation changed everything. We have a Fox News alert, an update on the chaos at the Astro World Music Festival in Houston. We now know teenagers were among the eight people when the crowd rushed the stage during Travis Scott's performance. If you remember, before Astoril started, Travis Scott dropped a two-pack, which was most likely going to lead in his album, meaning Fago's album as well. And Travis Scott's album, Utopia, got pushed back because of that Astroworld situation, which in turn pushed Fago's album back. And that put Fago in a worse position than he already was. It was November 2021 at the time, and Fago hadn't dropped a project since December 2020. So it's been basically a full year since he dropped and his hype was starting to die down. At the time, people was understanding. It was just like, oh, Fago not dropping because he signed to Travis, and that just makes sense. So we're going to let him slide this time. We're going we gonna to let him be high. Everybody was thinking it was fine because they thought when Fago dropped, it was going to be so good, and it was going to be the best music he ever dropped. But they was wrong. After Fago made his fans wait a year and some months, he dropped something before Pink in June 2022. A five song EP that didn't satisfy the fans at all and got forgotten about in the same week. I don't even think that cracked top 30. It might have been at 25 for a couple days and then dropped off. I don't think it charted or nothing. It just disappeared. Me, I think it was all right. It wasn't terrible, 
but everybody thought it was Samir, and that was another big hit to his career. This would really killed a lot of hype for his album. People were saying, if the EP sounded like this, what is the actual album finna sound like? People was not a fan of Fago New Sound, and I personally don't think it was terrible, but his old music was definitely better. In 2021, Fago was my most listened to artist because his old music was that good, but after the EP, months went by with no singles just some features here and there until it happened november 11 2022 so fago dropped pink hearts his first full-length album in over two years understand this so fago was really popping for over a year and never dropped a debut album when so fago dropped the album that had the entire rap game wanting it at one point it ain't even charting the top 200 while on the other hand his number one competitor dropped the album and it went number one but it don't stop there after fago started getting all this hate he went on ig talking crazy to everybody but the thing is it was more than just haters he was hating his fans rather cut all you fake let's have supporters loose and rock with the people who really with me my fan base only gonna get stronger over the years i'm already up financially i don't need you i just need my fans i don't need critics telling me how to live my life or make my music what happened is this got mad because everybody was talking about him flopping and he took it all out on instagram and after this whole disaster he been quiet on the internet lately like before some random features every once in a while and that brings us to today the main reason i made this video rumors been coming out saying travis scott dropped fago from his label Caddy jack and people just ain't saying this for no reason they got reasons to think this if you go check travis scott following this he unfollowed so fago and i don't think somebody would unfollow the most recent artist they just signed but also it would make sense for him to drop them after this whole disaster but take that with a grain of salt we don't know if he really got dropped or if travis scott did it on accident but what do you think if so fago did get dropped could him having more freedom in his career revive it 